Hey everyone, welcome back to Recap, Home Edition Week 3. We're currently in Studio B, my backyard. It's a beautiful day and everyone deserves some fresh air, am I right? So take a deep breath and let's catch up on some buzz about news. By the way, my little sisters are watching me work because my mom says their brains are turning to mush. Hey! Hi. Get out of my shot! Well, school's still out, for now. As you know, the coronavirus forced schools to close last month, and now provinces are extending those closures. Nova Scotia, PEI, Quebec, and Ontario students won't be back into classrooms until sometime in May. Tell them, Lizzo. It's gonna be May. New Brunswick and Alberta are saying schools will be closed indefinitely, and other provinces will be announcing their plans soon. Across Canada, teachers and school boards are trying to figure out how to make e-learning the new normal. And all of this brings up a lot of questions. Should Wi-Fi be free? How will kids in rural areas manage with their spotty internet? What if you're graduating this year? What about your marks and applications for college and university? We're not the only ones looking for answers, so stay tuned. They will come. Now, hands up if you're feeling a little stir crazy. <laughs> Alrighty then, that's why I asked the recap squad what's the first thing they'll do once the stay home rule is lifted. I really want to go on like a long drive with my best friend and our dogs heading absolutely nowhere, roll down the windows and just sing living on a prayer at the top of our lungs. And I will immediately go to Coco's and buy a brown sugar roasted milk tea, normal sugar, less ice with tapioca. That is my order, that is my jam, it will be so good. I plan on getting a bunch of my friends, going to someone's house, building a fort, and just like finally have some like social interaction instead of like talking through Skype or something. I'm just looking forward to getting outside, getting together a large group of friends and being able to play soccer. Yup, for me it's gonna be my girl crew, a late night vibe session, and some Korean food. Hey Jada, go make me some beef teriyaki. What? No. In kind of sort of good news, the Olympics have a new date. The Tokyo Games have been rescheduled for July 23rd to August 8th, 2021. This is exactly one year later than what was planned for this summer. And did you know the Olympic Games are on TikTok? Right now their feed is full of inspirational workouts and funny stuff like escalator swimming. And yo, if TikTok dancing was an Olympic sport, I'm ready to go for gold. Please. Okay, fine. Back to reality. Postponing the games till next year is very expensive. Some reports say that it will cost Japan billions of dollars. And hey, if you want a deeper dive into what this delay means for Olympic hopefuls, go read our article on cbckidsnews.ca. Drake is back in the news. He got a little personal on Instagram this week. Right now, he's staying home in the six after testing negative for COVID-19, but he is missing his son, so he shared this post. This is the first time the world is seeing Adonis since we heard about him back in 2018. Remember when Pusha T spilled the beans in his diss track, The Story of Added On? But also, Drake's new song, Toozy Slide, officially dropped on Thursday, but it has been the worst kept secret on social media. Here's the thing, this Atlanta dancer named Toozy posted this choreographed dance to a leaked snippet of the song. The track is now available in its full form and there's already a viral dance challenge. Do you think Drake's team intentionally leaked the song to create hype? And now, the Recap Squad is back with a roundup of smiles. So, something that made me smile this week is this video. <laughs> the seniors are playing a life-size game of Hungry Hungry Hippos, and I just love this because the staff set up a game to entertain the residents since they couldn't have any visitors. And I mean, just look at how cute they are. I saw this video, it made me smile, and I love Hungry Hungry Hippos. Can someone let me know what this game is? Never heard of it, ever. 
What? That game literally started arguments in my family. <laughs> I don't know either, man. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna have to play a game with you guys on like recap or something. This is ridiculous. It has to be life size too. Oh yeah. So a new trend that made me smile this week is the hashtag bored in the house on TikTok. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. And it has many creators going crazy and making a bunch of creative TikToks on it. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. Bored in the house, bored in the house bored. Bored in the house bored. in the house and in the house bored. I love how we're not in sync, but we're bored in the house together. And that's what matters. It's published on like Apple Music. Like Tiger produced it or something. Wait, it's official? Yeah, my sister showed me. It's actually on Apple Music. You see no the guy who made that song? He was like, I'm glad you guys like it, but I'm still bored. <laughs> <laughs> what made me smile this week was John Krasinski started a new show called Some Good News, where he asked his Twitter followers to send him uh, any kind of good news they found uh, during their week. And... The story that stood out to me was he talked to this girl who had recently beaten leukemia. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And since because of social distancing, they threw her a party outdoors well, as she was walking back in her house. So that was nice. I, I like the he, he met with Steve Carell, but that's just because I'm a really huge Office fan. I guarantee you that the bottom half of what you have on does not match the top. <laughs> <laughs> I liked how he was talking about like the grandfather, how the grandfather saw his grandson for the first time. It was kind of sad though, because because of social distancing, they couldn't like, he couldn't be in the same room, but he still saw his grandfather like through like this glass screen. <laughs> I like seeing old people happy. <laughs> Aw, wasn't that fun? And one more feel good story. If it's your friend's birthday, you might want to hit the road. Because of physical distancing, people are getting creative by doing drive by parties or vehicle parades. Here's one from Ottawa. This is Lincoln. He just turned nine. His mom told the parents of his friends to drive by at exactly 2 p.m. More than 40 cars paraded by with a honk and a wave. Hi, guys. Thank you. I'm sure dozens of cars honking won't bother anyone. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone, we're signing off. I'll see you back next week with a special Up Close episode of Recap. In the meantime, we'll stay here. See ya. Peace. Bye.